When it comes to Pokemon, my favorites have to be Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. When I was a little girl, I dream of having a puffy Jigglypuff. I even used to have a bunch of Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff plushies. They would surround my pillow, and each night I would cuddle with a different one just to make sure they each got some love. Anytime my Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff you sing, I would hum the little tune with them, thinking it made my chances better for the upcoming Pokemon to fall asleep. I was very naive back then, but it was blissful innocence, to be honest. Hell, I even played Jigglypuff in the Brawl games. I don't care if anyone else didn't like her. I did. So when I got my hands on Pokemon Soul Silver when it first came out, I, of course, made it my mini mission to find a Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. I went through the game waiting for Puffs and Tuffs to show up. I encountered the occasional trainer with the Puff for a Tuff, but I soon found out that Jigglypuffs could only be caught in one set area which I later found to be the game's safari zone, and Wigglytuffs could not be found in the wild at all for me. At that point, safari zone was not active for me, so I was stuck waiting a little while longer to capture my beloved Puff. After a week or so of battling and schoolwork, and battling schoolwork, safari zone was finally available. I went there once I had a chance to go and went on a hunt for Jigglypuff. And, of course, it was not easy. I ran to maybe eight the first trip and lost all eight of them. I remember calling my DS Lite a cheater. Next day, though, I finally caught my first Jigglypuff. I happily named her Hoon and put her in my party ASAP. It took some time to get her up to the level of the rest of my team, but it was well worth it for me. <coughs> I even kept her sing, since it felt so nostalgic to hear that lovely tune again. Sadly, school got busy for me for a while, so I was forced to put my game on hold. But once I got my free time back, I went right back to work, making sure all my Pokemon loved me, especially my Hoon. But I still didn't have my Wiggly Tough. I didn't want to lose Hewn, so I thought about getting an already evolved weekly tough since Safari Zone has proven its dislike of me. So I set a call out on the wireless trade asking for a weekly tough, any gender of the very many and any level. I wasn't picky at the time, but now I wish I had been. In exchange for a new Wiggly Tough, I put out a wonderfully bred Toto dial that had some killer moves, even for a level six. I waited for hours, thinking someone would see the quality right away and send a trade. I waited days. Maybe someone would just happen to want a Toto dial to raise. Nearly two weeks had passed, and I still had no response. I'd already given up hope and was ready to use a moonstone on Hewn. I ended up checking one last time to make sure, and I wanted to get my Toto dial back somehow, if no one was going to take him but it didn't send me to the main menu for the wireless trading. Instead, I got the dramatic evolving music and the Pokeball came flying from the top screen to the bottom. And finally, I got my Wiggly Tough. I quickly logged out to see my new friend, a female Wiggly Tough, level 26. Name was a bit odd, though. Disabled, in all caps. I didn't get why someone would name a Wigglytuff that, but I'd seen stranger names for people and Pokemon alike. I just wish I could have changed it, but for some reason you could never change the name of traded Pokemon. Its information was a bit odd, but I was never one for those kinds of details, if you know what I mean. Or learning the meanings behind those details, if you know what I mean. Gloomy nature. I only knew one move. Sing. I didn't recall ever seeing Gloomy before, but I had seen Timid, so I figured if they can be shy, they can be sad as well. Though you'd have to wonder what Pokemon would be Gloomy, and the fact it only knew Sing did bug me. 
Would have been nice if its previous trainer left some more moves, but I had some nice TMs to try on it regardless. Despite the off information, I was eager to try out the Wigglytuff in battle. I checked my character's bag and picked the best TM I was almost sure would work. I ended up picking Hidden Power, Swagger, and Explosion. Headed over to the nearest patch of grass and walked around aimlessly looking for a fight. Just like real life. The battle music came on and the Pokemon was a Ponita. The pick fight you sing just to make Wigglytuff's first fight easy. And it failed. Well, I knew saying didn't always work, so I didn't think much of it. Ponita used Tail Whip. It was cute, but only lowered my defense. My turn again, so I used Hidden Power just to see if I was in the right place for it. I wasn't, since I barely made a nick in the Ponita's HP. I used Tail Whip again. I figured that the game was using that same trick the lower level Pokemon used. This time I tried Sing again. The screen acted like it used Sing, but there was no sound. Sing was disabled. I just stared at my screen. How was it Sing unusable? Was it a stupid trick? I let Ponita use its tail whip again, but then Wigglytuff shook a bit like it was suffering from either an effect or some something politically incorrect to say. I thought I saw the sprite change, but then I realized that I probably just got a glitchy Pokemon. I cussed a bit, pissed that I lost a good Pokemon for a hacked one. Didn't want this one messing with my game, so I picked Run. Disabled wants to fight. You could not leave the battle. Oh, come on. I remember saying out loud. <clears throat> I kept thinking that was probably about to ruin my game. I thought Ponito was about to attack this turn, but it didn't. Its little spray shook like it was poisoned. Ponito was frozen in fear. It might not attack. I knew this was getting too weird. I tried to pick run again, but another weird text came up. The sailor wants to fight. You cannot leave the battle. didn't even see that the text was different this time. I was able to pick another option. Couldn't run, so I thought. Tried Hidden Power again. Hidden Power was disabled. I had to pick another one. I tried Swagger. Swagger was disabled. What well, was dull on us, though it's moves? All these questions popped up in my head, one after another, after another, after another. What did that guy who gave me this wiggly tough do? I have to escape. Can't keep this Pokemon. I knew I could just turn the game off, but I wanted to see what was happening. I wanted to see what was wrong with my quote unquote wiggly tough. It'd be wrong to say that you owned a Pokemon. That'd be like slavery. I was stuck with only two options sing. And explosion. This thing was already disabled from past attempts, so I could only use explosion. That move would take out the Wiggly Tough and the Ponita, too, ending the battle. Oh, I thought that maybe that was a good thing. Explosion was disabled. I didn't even have a chance to react before even more text came up. Disabled tried using Sing. Sing was disabled. It was doing it on its own. Sprite started shaking a bit more than before, more obviously. Ponita is frozen in fear. It can no longer escape from battle. I felt my heart start to pound. Maybe this was what Ponita was feeling at the time. Disabled tried using Sing. Sing was disabled. Disabled tried using Sing. Sing was disabled. Disabled tried using Sing, 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 Sing was disabled. Each time the text passed Wiggly Tough Sprite, turning dark and darker. Disabled, you struggle. 
I watched him hard as the wiggly tough you struggle like it had no other moves to use. Most of the time it didn't even hit the ponita, this wiggly tough, like it was hurting itself. The ponita finally fled from the battle and the sequence ended. Wish I could have gone with it. Since Wigglytuff was first in my party, it was like walking along with me on screen. Its colors look dingy and dirty and red could be seen on it. I turned my character to talk to it. Dot dot dot. Didn't say nothing to me. I tried again, becoming strangely desperate to figure out what was happening to the Wigglytuff I was so joyed to finally have. Dot dot dot. I just wanted to sing. I wasn't sure who was talking. Maybe it was a voiceover, I thought. I talked to it again. Why? Why? Why can't I sing? Just sing. Sing. Each time I spoke to it, its cry grew softer and softer like it was a toy breaking. I began to feel bad for Wiggly Tough and headed back for the city to heal it. It was the least I could do before I turned my game off, taking it back to the time when I just barely got it, before I used it. Sadly, we didn't get far. We encountered another Pokemon battle, another Ponyta. Picked run, but just like last time, if Stable wants to fight, you cannot escape the battle. No one had time to react to what happened during this fight. Bonita was too slow for some reason and was stuck in battle. The options menu did not come up for me. Disabled tried to use sing. Sing, 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 sing. There was so much text it moved off the box itself. It was finally glitching out, I thought. Disabled you struggle, it struggled and 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 struggled. With each struggle, Wiggly Tough took more and more damage, though this time the Wild Ponita got hit more this time too. The Wild Ponita Flood. I thought the fight was over, but the battle screen stayed up. We began mashing the buttons, thinking maybe it was going to talk again and I needed to press A or B. The screen faded and changed to the evolving screen. I couldn't speak. My heart sank and I felt my eyes water. The once normal Wiggly Tough sprite was faded. Its left ear was torn off and red pixel covered the broken end. Its tired eyes were pitch black, with only a red dot to show its pupils. Even its mouth had red coming from it, like blood was dripping out. Why can't I sing? Why? Why? Can you sing? Yes or no? I picked no. I just wanted this to add. You're lying. You can sing. Give me your sing. Yes or no? I hit no about four or five times. Sing. Sing. The speakers let out a high-pitched screech, making me drop my DS to just get it away. I ran out of my room and called a friend. Couldn't touch the game after that. My friend came over, seeing as I could not hide the panic I was feeling. She laughed at me, but I told her I wasn't touching the game. 
She picked it up for me and looked at it, shaking her head, and she turned it off and closed it. And she handed it back to me. I think you broke it, she told me, leaving my room and heading for the living room. She stayed with me the rest of the day and night, but I couldn't get that image out of my head. The next morning, with my friend sitting next to me, I put the wiggly towel up for trade. I found someone that was offering a Cyndaquil in exchange for a wiggly towel. I hit the button as hard as I could, wanting it to hurry up. And the trade went through. I still have that Cyndaquil. Whoever had him? Named him Hurry.